right guys, getting onto this kayak was so easy today. I just loved how balanced this thing is. It's so much more stable than the first kayak I bought. All right guys, I know it's a little bit windy, but I'm on the water and I'm gonna start where all the wind is blowing just because that's gonna push the top like surface water which is warmer to wherever the wind is blowing so i'm gonna start there because the water should be slightly warmer i have a spinner bait tied on and i have a jig tied on today and this wind today is gonna be brutal i'm not sure i'm ready for it yet Fish on. Fish on. Fish off. That was a good bass. Wow. And I already messed it up. I should have just brought him in here. I didn't even really set the hook because I didn't think I had a fish. I, I thought I had a weed, honestly. That was a good bass though. It's a good sign, I guess. I know it's gonna be kind of tough to see me because the sun's behind me but I have to stay out of this window you guys are not gonna be able to hear me and one thing about this pond that kind of concerned me was this was the last pond to unthaw during the winter time so the water temp is still only like 45 degrees but I mean I've only been here probably for like an hour and I got a bite like the first five minutes I was here and it was a good sized bass too I'd say it was right at two pounds Got him. Nice. Wow, didn't even need the trailer hook for that one. Cut it right on the main hook. First bass of the day. Just a little one, probably about half a pound. But man, he actually crushed the spinner bait. All right guys, nice, first fish of the day. That wasn't the first bite, but this is the first one I landed. And it looks like this spinner bait is uh, gonna work good today. It's very windy, and a spinner bait is a very good windy bait. Especially when the sun's out, because when the sun's out, the sun reflects off these blades here and gives it that extra shine. Got one. Got one, guys. A small one. Finally. Oh, right on the trailer hook. Lucky I was using a trailer hook. But there we go. Third fish of the day. A tiny, tiny bass. Maybe a third of a pound. Probably more like a quarter pound. Fish! 
fish, fish. Oh, I knew he was gonna spit. There we go, guys. Another bass, another tiny bass. On the spinner bait, fish number four today. Fish. <laughs> another one. That's two casts in a row with the spinner bait. There we go, another dink though. Guys, I missed one. Oh my God. Guys, that's the second time I had that fish on. It's the second time you only had it by the claws. All right guys, since that fish only had it by the claws, if I catch him again, I'm gonna let him really eat it. Got him this time. Woo. What the? I'm sorry guys, I finally caught a good fish and um, I couldn't get him. Alright guys, another bass down. I think this is my fourth bass today and they were all under a pound other than that one bass I caught that was probably like two and a half that spit right at my kayak just still can't believe that well, that's a decent amount of bass today actually but like I said before they're literally all under one pound So, it's about 1 o'clock right now. I've been out here for a solid four hours and I've got four or five fish to show for it and none of them have been very big. Both the big fish I've had on today, I've lost them. And I say big, but they were both two pounds. But I'm hoping if I take a break, eat some lunch, and then get back out onto the water, I'll be able to hook into some more fish. All right guys, I switched ponds. This pond actually is a long drive from the other one. It's probably about 30 seconds. <laughs> These ponds are actually connected by a small canal. I just didn't feel like paddling through the canal. I just drove over here and I have to hide behind my truck just to stay out of the wind. The wind has been annoying all day today. But the water temperature of this pond actually feels really warm. I'm actually very surprised. Like, it, it feels like 50 degrees. Since this was like the last pond to thaw, I really figured the water temp was going to be like 42, but it really feels like 50, 51. Like, that's a pleasant surprise. I'm going to stick with the same two baits because they were catching me fish in the other pond. The spinner bait, the jig, but this time I threw in another rod on my kayak. It's a crankbait. 
hopefully I can hook into a fish on it. Um, I'm not even sure I'm going to be using a crankbait today, but who knows, we'll see. But as you guys can see, this pond is huge. It's really more like a lake because right now you guys only can see half of it. The other half of this pond actually gets really deep where weeds can't even grow on the bottom. So that it really could be considered a lake, but it's just called a pond. All right guys, I think I said this at the other pond, but all the wind is pushing the water towards the shore that I'm at right now. So that's where I'm gonna start off. Right from the bat is right where I'm gonna launch. Fish. There we go. Caught him this time. On the trailer hook only. He just swiped at the trailer hook. This one's only about a pound. Maybe like a pound point two. But uh, not quite the size I'm looking for, but that's awesome. First decent sized bass of the day. Fish, fish. Ooh, he soaked me. Nice, biggest fish of the day. That's definitely a pound and a half at least. That is a solid bass. This is definitely a pound and a half at least. This is a solid bass. Oh. Fish, fish. Get up here. All right, there we go. This could be the biggest bass of the day, just on that trailer hook. That's why a trailer hook is so important when using a spinnerbait. Most of my bass have all come on the spinnerbait. This is a nice pound and a half. But man, I love fishing. And I love catching largemouth. I could sit out here all day.